Good morning, people. If you're new around here, I'm Chloe Jones, and I'm riding this bad boy from my hometown in Wales to Tajikistan in Asia. This was the road originally at one point. We went for a walk because there's a way to enter the river here to see if maybe the road was fine back there, but it's completely gone. Like three, three miles. So we're gonna be sensible and go around. We made it! Woo! Only a what 30 kilometer detour? <laughs> yeah. Come from right here. <laughs> Didn't move far from there. Yeah, fresh. You reckon that's the cornfield? Definitely the cornfield. Sweet. This is how we're doing it out here, eh? <laughs>
We made it to the end and I think it's a pretty good finish here. Hey guys, we made it to Colma Canyon and the after I nearly crashed in that freaking muddy rut in the middle of a main road with a lorry behind me. The place is incredible and look at this door. Hi guys, we're having an absolute mare again tonight. I decided to do a fuel test so late in the day. I got 142 kilometers out of a tank, four liter tank, it's insane. But when I refilled, the bike wouldn't go for like 10 minutes. Then Joe tried to push me with his foot and he fell off his bike. Then we got to where we thought the campsite was, but it was wrong, it was not a campsite. Then we drove 10 kilometers, found somewhere to camp, but there was no showers and we didn't want to pay for somewhere that we could wild camp for free, right? So we said, we know there's a campsite another five kilometers, 10, five, six, seven kilometers away. We'll go there, got there. We ended up coming to the wrong place and trying to camp at a restaurant. And they were like, yeah, we can stay. But then we realized there was no showers again. So we were like, the ca real campsite across the road, we'll try that. Then the real campsite was closed. They sent us somewhere else and we were like, no. Then we tried to wild camp, but it's just roads and it's hard to find a wild camp in the dark. Then we came back to the restaurant but found actually there's a quieter place away from the highway to camp that was like our main thing for not staying here so close to the highway then we found like it goes way deep so we didn't go back to the people who had agreed a price in the restaurant and came in for another gate and paid another man thought we'd finally made it we've got f food on the go a couple of beers joe started super gluing his drone and a guy came over, really hard to suss. I didn't get good vibes from him, but he did laugh and seemed pretty chill. And I'm getting a bit frustrated with him because we keep saying we don't want to camp that side, we've paid to camp and we want to camp here, not by the highway. And Joe's gone to smooth him over since I was getting pissed. What's the verdict? Here's your money. Oh no, well, how did a good thing come out of that? No, it's not, we're packing up, we're leaving. Why? Because he's like, you camp here or go, go. And I was like, all right, see you. No way. Yeah. 
Why? He's camping by the restaurant? Like, right there. I was like, it's too fucking... He's like, no, no, it's going to be calm. And I was like, oh, fuck it. And he gave you the money back? I, like, went and took it from the other guy. I was like, give me the fucking money. <laughs> but he's friends with the other guy. It was a separate place. It's the same place, or I think, or something like that. And I made him give me back. And he's like, try taking it back. I'm like, no. Anyway. So he won't let us stay here? Not here, no. We're leaving here for sure. I'm not dealing with that again. I'm not, like, setting up my tent and then dealing with that. We cannot stay here. How can people do that? I really don't want to sleep down there, Joe. Well, let's drive down the road and try and find another camp. Or you can stay here and I'll go down there. I'm not dealing... I'm, no, I me, don't, personally, I, I'm not dealing with that I shit. don't want to deal with that because he's going to be a cunt, especially if I'm on my own. Yeah. But I'm really scared to sleep down there, like, at the side of a road. Well, then we can go down that way and find another camp. I not believe this is happening. It's, like, 9 o'clock at night. I didn't like him from the minute he turned up. There was such bad vibes from mm -hmm. him. I'm just tired and I don't want to deal with that shit right now. No, I, I was even losing with getting annoyed, did you see? Yeah. Oh, it's like, I mean, it was just like was screaming getting, the same fucking thing yeah, over and over again. It's like my face. Like I wasn't sure yeah. if he was trying to be nice and like or trying to hustle us. I couldn't even suss him out. It's never a good sign. Hi guys, um, me and Joe had a great couple of days exploring together. This was our last night, so stay tuned for next episode to find out where we ended up sleeping that night. It was crazy, the guy just kept saying the same thing, getting louder and louder in Turkish. Um, I wish that campsite well, but uh, stay tuned for the next episode to see what actually happened that night. Might even be an episode out Monday, because I'm, I'm a little bit ahead now of the videos. I'm just super excited to share the new camera footage with you and the new mic. The new bike is like amazing. So stay tuned. Have an amazing adventure this week. Um, keep riding. I'll see you on the next one.